in our midst, we have honorable member from Kasalani constituency, Kalibu. Uh, praise God, Church. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, all leaders present, the clergy, Hamjambu. So, first of all, let me apologize. I think everybody saw me walking in a bit late. <laughs> I had a small emergency on the way here. But let me say I'm very honored to be part of uh, the President's uh, convoy today or this Sunday. I'll be very brief. We always go back to the elections, and everybody keeps asking especially the people in the opposition. First of all, I'm an independent member of parliament. <laughs> I'm the first independent member of parliament ever elected in the city of Nairobi, in Kasarani. And I want to assure you all, without the help of the church, I would not be a member of parliament today. So we should be all very proud that we have a president who understands the power of God, who is ready to support the church. And I want to assure you, Kenya has come from very far. From the time of independence, we've had many revolutions, until the time we had our new constitution. What Kenya needed at this time was an economic revolution. And I believe, honestly believe, that the president we have today is the one person who could have taken us through to the next stage in our country, Kenya. I used to be a pilot in my previous life. There is something we call stalling, whereby a plane has a minimum speed. If you go slower than that, the plane drops from the sky. And it happens sometimes. The irony is when that plane drops from the sky, the way to recover the aircraft is to push it down even more. <laughs> so you have to push it down, which is against your instincts, <laughs> so that you recover the aircraft and go to the sky. Where we are in Kenya right now, we were put in a very deep hole. It is very easy to criticize from outside. But there is only one way to recover this aircraft. There must be a period when we push the aircraft down, get enough speed, and then recover and go back to the sky. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that we have a very able pilot at the controls presently. And we should thank God. The challenges ahead, that's what I'm saying, it's very easy to be in the opposition and criticize. But we must go through it so that we can recover our country. So the church was instrumental in our president taking over controls of the country. What I ask is you continue praying for him. You have heard the challenges never stop. There is no sleeping in that house. <laughs> so please continue with your prayers. Those are, that, those are the wings that will enable our president to rescue our country. Once again, thank you very much. Since I came late today, I'll make sure I come back once again. <laughs> and thank you all for your very warm welcome. God bless you.